little bit suspicious of it. And uh, so I did that. And it uh, ended up, it was uh, fairly high. It was uh, 2,600 parts per million when it should be between 250 and 300. Now that's uh, been improved. Uh, my circulation is better. My uh, arthritis is disappearing, and uh, there's uh, a lot more energy, like almost three times. And uh, my uh, uh, concentration is uh, just almost doubled. And that's just been in nine months, I guess. So it's been quite an improvement. Well, my arthritis was bad enough that I uh, couldn't pack a small box full of groceries. I'd have to put it on a dolly and bring it in the house because I couldn't hold it with my fingers. And uh, that's almost completely gone. And uh, my... Uh, Every time I did something, I was starting to get uh, chest pains, and, and I had a, a nitro spray that I used all the time, which I'd never use anymore. I haven't used for probably well, six, eight months, I guess. And uh, it, my whole health has just improved something like it was about almost eight years ago. Like, uh, I don't have any trouble packing 40 pounds now, but before I couldn't only pack 10 pounds was maximum. So what are your plans for the future now that you feel so much better? Well, I bought a business and I'm going back into business now, it, uh, where I could have never done it before. It was just, would have been impossible. Sure. Well, it, uh it started uh, in 1990, I had the heart attack, but after I got out of the hospital, I was all right for a while. But starting a year ago, this month, they, I was in hospital every month for a week to 10 days because the heart kept going into complete failure. And they'd have to put me in hospital and sort of get it kick-started to get it going again. And they told me I would never work again, and they wanted to do an angioplasty on me and a, a heart bypass, and I wouldn't have them. And they were angry with me because I wouldn't have it. And they sent me home in May and said, well, I couldn't work, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I lost 40 pounds of weight. And they said, well, you're going to die, so you may as well go home. There's nothing we can do for you. So in May, I heard about this chelation treatment. And I went on it. And after three treatments, I was away to the races. And I've had no more problem. And they told me I'd never work again. And the day after I got home, after the first 10 treatments, I went back to work again. And I couldn't climb stairs, now I can climb stairs, now I can walk for I don't know how many miles. I've never tested to see how many miles I can walk. But I couldn't do that before, just to walk across the living room floor was exhausting. And so uh, it's been a lifesaver for me. It's turned my life right around. And I've been thankful for it. So, uh, But it's, uh, it's something that uh, I think that everybody should take, you know, if, uh, if, because I think it's uh, going to help the biggest majority of people to get back on their feet again. And it's nice not to, for the last three months, not to be in hospital anymore. My husband and I are both taking chelation treatments. Uh, he's here because he's had many small strokes. Uh, he had reached a stage that he took very little interest in uh, conversation or anything that was going on. Now after 17 treatments, he's responding very, very well and the whole family's thrilled. Um, I'm here because of poor circulation in my legs. I, I was having a lot of pain in my knees. I lived my life walking from chair to chair. Found it really hard to just go from the house to the car. Uh, now I'm sleeping well. The pain in my knees is gone. Uh, I'm walking much better. And uh, we feel that chelation has just done tremendous things for our lives. In the late afternoon, I would be very tired and I would start getting chest pains soon as somebody annoyed me on the phone and I would just have to get up and leave because I was afraid of passing out. The doctor who did the angiogram said, uh, 
I think after a couple hours, he came and interviewed me and he showed me where my blockages were. And he said they weren't big blockages, but they were in a part of the heart where it mattered a lot. And he experimented with quite a few pills. My car cardiologist, uh, uh, when I went to see him uh, about a year ago, and I told him that I was turning to alternative medicine, and that it was chelation, and he told me I was wasting my time and money. And in fact, he told me he could show me all kinds of reports that it doesn't work. And I said, well, it doesn't work for everybody, but I'm hoping it'll work for me. I, I started feeling better uh, after the month of uh, vitamins that I took. And uh, the chelation, I didn't notice any difference until about four or five treatments. And I started to feel better. And after seven uh, treatments, I couldn't believe the change. And so every time I was looking forward to chelation because I knew that I would feel better. And I started doing a lot of things that I haven't done before. I, mean, I took 30 treatments. And by the time I took 30 treatments, I, I used to tell people I haven't felt that good in 15 years. Uh, when I went to see my uh, cardiologist this fall, uh, and when I was having my stress test, I could see by the look on his face, he was really surprised. And he, and he just kept saying, very good, very good. And, uh, and he asked about the medication, and I'm pretty well off most of the medication. And, but he still wants to see me one more time. I guess it's uh, February 2nd. And uh, I thought, boy, I can start enjoying my retirement. And I am re enjoying my retirement very much now compared to, uh, what is it, a year ago. I, I thought my retirement was, I might as well stayed at work <laughs> and passed out. <laughs> That's the way I was getting very depressed. So uh, it's made a big change in my life. Okay, well, um, when I had the stroke, this one morning I was out um, uh, watering about five o'clock. I have this great big place. So my husband's been ill for quite some time. So I was, I was like a caregiver. And so I just felt like everything had to be perfect. So I would get up so early and water. And this one morning I was out there at five, I thought, I don't feel right. I feel really strange. I'd better go to the doctor. And uh, all of a sudden, this left side, I couldn't walk. Then I called my doctor and I said, the, this lady and um, therapist said, in California, I've had a stroke. She said, oh my God, get to the hospital quick. So they got me to the hospital and um, <clears throat> Well, anyway, uh, they said I had to, I was in the hospital 24 days and in OT. And so uh, actually, I play, um, I play vibes, people's vibes and music. So that's what brought my hand back. I started playing and they used, made me do it in OT then for 15 minutes. So I, I started playing and I brought all my um, fingers back. The little one was the last one that came back. So I still, you know, couldn't walk very good. So when I went to the doctor, she said, well, you have to have, um, uh, you have to go to this heart specialist. So they sent me to the heart specialist and said, you're, you've got to check your arteries and everything. So when they did, uh, both arteries were stopped up. So this heart uh, doctor, uh, he said, well, you'll probably have to have surgery. So it sent me to a heart specialist and Victoria, see, and so uh, he said, well, said now you may have a stroke or a heart attack if you have um, this operation. So I said, well, I'm going to have chelation. He said, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. He just threw a fit. So I thought, well, I'm going to have it anyway. So I went out to, um, uh, that they used to have it out there, way out there on the other side of Qualicum, Qualicum Bay. So I had 10 chelations. 